thoughts on this eco salad gel is that So today I'm going to be giving you a full-on review and demo on the new Eco Styler. This is the Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Gel that's been hyped up for a couple of months now. And of course I was on the hunt for this, like literally on the hunt for this, and I could not find it anywhere until I finally found it, so I decided to go pick it up. I want to see if this Eco Styler Gel is any different from the previous gels that I've used in the past for my wash and goes and other hairstyles. Have you tried this gel? What are your thoughts on it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? And what kind of styles do you use to get the best definition with this gel? Let me know down in the comments. Alright? Here are the products I use for this wash and go. The Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Gel, of course, which contains vitamin E, fiber, and omega-3. And it says it promotes healthy hair growth, which is a plus. It's shimmery, it's opaque, which is cool. It has a thick consistency. Also gonna use my deming brush to detangle my hair. I'm gonna be using avocado oil, Allocate Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner, and some hair clips, and of course some water. We're gonna get onto this demo, like right now. I use the bentonite clay to clarify my scalp and you can check that out if you're interested in seeing how that is done by looking above or below where I'll link it for you. I deep conditioned as well. Shrinkage is real. The first thing I like to do is go on with my leave-in. Today I'm going on with the Allocate Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In. A review is coming up on this so stay tuned for that. Okay so the leave-in is in my hair. Now I'm gonna be using my oil just to add extra moisture to my hair. This is gonna help seal in the moisture from the leave-in. I'm just gonna use the praying hand method to distribute it, make sure I get it nicely on my ends. Look at that shine. So now I'm gonna be using the new Eco Styler Gel with black castor and flaxseed oil. So what I like about this is it made it special by making the cap a little different. As you know, the standard design of the cap is a twist off, whereas this one, this one is a flip up cap. Which is kind of hard to be honest if your hands are slippery. It has a nice, distinct smell. It's perfume-like, and it's gonna re-dampen my hair a bit. Apply about this much. So far from what I can tell, it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that. It glides onto my hair very smoothly. And of course I'm going to do the shingling method. Yeah. This is what my curls are looking like. Have nice ringlets. Look at this shrinkage. You can see that it gives me a lot of shine and definition, and I like that. And my curls are popping. So because I have to go out, I'm gonna let this dry under a hooded dryer for maybe 45 or so minutes. So I'll come back with the end results. My thoughts on this Eco Styler Gel? 
is that mm, I like it. I like it because it's very moisturizing and it gave me a lot of definition. Like, what I noticed with this gel is that once I was applying it, it made my curls clump up very, very tightly. I had a lot of shrinkage and it's a little bit more shrinkage than I would like, especially on first day hair. But that means that I'll get a long lasting style throughout the week. Now, to be honest, this hair is two day hair. I wanted to come back in like, you know, a couple of days just to see how it would hold up to give you an even more in depth review. And I'll say that I really like the definition that I have. There's still a nice shine and curls are still well defined. As you can see, my hair is bigger because I did stretch it out. Could not go through with the shrinkage, so I had to stretch it out. If you're interested in seeing how I stretched out my wash and go, then check the link above or below and it'll be linked for you. This Eco Style Gel is really nice. Would I say this is any different from any other Eco Styles that I've tried? Mmm, I don't know. I don't see much of a difference. But I will say that it's very moisturizing. So if you're a person that wants to use a gel that's moisturizing, that doesn't seem to flake up, then I will say give this a try. Is it worth the hype though? Mm, I don't know. It does have a very strong perfume-like smell. So if you're not a fan of strong smells, then maybe this gel is not for you. But I will say that the smell does not linger in your hair, so if you're worried about that, you can use it and then, you know, tolerate it if you want to, and it'll go away. At least for me, it did. So, the smell is alright. And this is the standard size, 16 fluid ounces. I purchased this at my local beauty supply for $2.99. I noticed that you have to use a lot of gel with this product, at least for me. When I was applying it to my hair, I tried to use small sections and use a little bit of product. But then I had to go back in and reapply even more product. So with this, I think you have to really work on damp, soaking wet hair, moisturized hair, and apply a lot of this. So this is how much I've used so far. And I did scoop some from here. I think this will be my favorite eco style gel because it gives me a lot of definition like all my curls were defined that's the first time I was able to get all my curls defined without any any type of frizz so this is about to be my favorite and I'm about to stock up <laughs> I'll probably come back and do other hairstyles just to see how it works you know doing braid outs twist outs something like that bun and let you know but overall I did enjoy this product and if you can find it you know get it you know try it out if you want and let me know how your experience went. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review and want to see more videos like this. I also did a review on this Eco Styler, the Coconut Oil Eco Styler Gel. So let me know. Would you like to see a comparison video? Comment down below. And I'd love to get that out to you as soon as possible, you know? So that about wraps this video up. I like it. So let's do a 360. Thank you.